Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually be reviewing the Manfrotto tripod. I actually didn't know this tripod existed until my friend David out in California. Here's a shout out to you. I actually asked him for some advice on what a good affordable tripod would be. And I got this tripod mostly for the GoPro, but also as you guys can see, I've got my Nikon DSLR mounted to it. And just in the little bit of time that I've been using it, I really like this tripod rig because it's not heavy it folds down really small and the legs actually just have these quick clips you know and you you just have to pull this plastic clip up push the leg back in and lock it back down it doesn't have any of those like metal circular knobs that you have to twist i've seen some of those and those just look like a total pain but these plastic quick releases that's uh actually a pretty nice feature now i've got my nikon dslr mounted like i said and what's really cool about this camera stand this tripod is if you just loosen this circular clamp up you can actually change the position of the camera so you can go that direction full 90 out like that and it'll tight and it's just three you twist your thumb three turns up and it fully tightens. So you can mount your camera 90. So like I said, you can turn your camera, it's 90, or you can point your camera downward. You point the camera upward. It's got a full range of motion and it's really like, you know, two finger tight and you're done. And so you can move the camera any direction you want. You can mount, uh, looks like there's a, you can change the mount to a you know, a vlogging camera or, you know, a camcorder. But for now, this is pretty simple and you just press the quick release and bam, the camera comes out. So you pop the quick release and your camera comes out and it's got the mount already on it. So the Manfrotto mount kind of screws into the bottom of your, of your camera. You just leave your tripod here, pop this clip and take your camera with you if you need to do a quick you know, take your camera and take a photo of a situation of some sort. So that's pretty cool. It's got a quick release for the entire camera assembly. So you just put the mount back in and you close the quick release and bam, your camera is fully tightened and it's not gonna go anywhere. So just a, just a cool quick feature of that. And also you can take that release I just showed you and screw that into a bottom of a GoPro adapter I'm actually filming with my GoPro right now, so I don't have one to show you. But basically, all that adapter is, it screws into the bottom of your case, and it uses the standard GoPro mounts, and it goes from the GoPro mount to a threaded, I think it's eighth inch. It might be a different, I'm not sure what the thread is. It just uses a standard camera thread, and it mounts to the bottom of the GoPro mounting system. So you can use any GoPro, any selfie stick, any GoPro accessory, and that will allow you to attach your GoPro to the tripod. So this will give you plenty of flexibility whether you're using a GoPro like I'm filming with, or you're using a professional camera like a DSLR. And it's just a overall pretty good setup. Now, let me get this thing knocked down and show you how small the tripod gets. So this tripod only takes like 10 or 15 seconds to knock down all three legs and get it down to a you know, more carry, manageable and carryable size. This thing's pretty lightweight. I mean, with the camera on here, you're maybe at five pounds. I mean, this thing isn't super heavy. So, so you could easily throw this in a backpack like this and, you know, go on your adventure hikes or whatever and mount this thing and you take your professional like outdoor nature shots or whatnot. Now for me, honestly guys, this won't be leaving the garage or even the house maybe like i'll be using this at for photo shoots and stuff but you know i've got a very basic dslr from nikon i am not a professional photographer in it in, in any way just uh you know for a hobbyist and wanting to get better shots of the cars and whatnot you know it's kind of why we stepped up to the dslr and we actually just took this camera out, uh, to europe and haven't had a problem with it and we took like six thousand pictures something like that something crazy Overall, I think this setup between the tripod and the new DSLR 
I think it'll help the channel out with just getting some better still shots and whatnot. I don't know if I'll be filming with this, to be honest, guys, because it's kind of a pain to arrange, like, two cameras, two videos, and it just... I'm not sure. I know some guys, you know, all that they use are, like, tri tripods and, you know, professional DSLR cameras, and I just... I don't know. I, I'm not... I'm way more experienced with the GoPro than I am with this DSLR camera, and the one shot I did, it turned out pretty crummy. Uh, this was before I had the tripod. So maybe the tripod will, will help improve the video quality, but I'm just not sure. So I'll probably just stick with what I know, and that's the GoPro and using it on our various shots and projects around the, on, around the place. So I hope this gave you some information on the Manfrotto tripod and the DSLR setup that we have. Now, this is from a automotive YouTuber. You know, some guys may hate the stand, but I think for inside shots in the garage, maybe stuff out in the driveway or when I, where I go to my photo shoot spot, It'd be good for stuff like that. That's my opinion. I, you know, like I said, other people may not like this rig, but I think that this is gonna be a pretty solid setup. So I hope this review gave you guys some good information about this tripod setup. If you guys are interested in buying one, I'll have a link in the description below where you can pick one up. And uh, I just hope it helped out. If you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks and have a great day.